Hello, my loves, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from September 19th to September 25th, 2019. Hello, my beautiful Leos. How are you all doing? I hope that you're doing well. I'm sorry that I didn't come with your reading last week. I had like a purging and a um, food poisoning happening at the same time. And, um, and it, when it came to your reading, I couldn't do it that week. And uh, so I have to recover, and I am slowly recovering this week. And so I couldn't go for the week back. So I'm doing the weekly readings as as is. And what counts now is I'm here for you. Uh, I want to thank all of you for the love and support. For those of you that did reach out to me uh, to ask me how I was, thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm very overwhelmed with the people coming to me when I'm not feeling well or I'm going through um, my transformations. Like as you can see, everybody goes through transformations, including me, myself as well. So um, again, I want to thank all of you for your love and support. And for the new subscribers that are here, welcome to my platform. I'm very happy for you to be here. Uh, I want to also thank for the donations that you have been sending me, as well as postcards and the letters I am receiving. I'm very touched by that. Um, for those of you that want to send a postcard or a letter, underneath the video, there, there's going to be a PO box number for you to do that. Uh, don't forget to um, subscribe and hit the notification bell as well to get more videos when I upload more videos. Um, now, uh, for those of you that do not know, I channel messages through my higher self and the divine, and I use the cards as a tool to deliver the messages towards you, okay? So now let's get started with your reading. We're going to start with the singing bowl, and the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and to clear yours as well. If there's anything that you're carrying inside of you, just take a deep breath in, and when you excel, you excel through your solar plexus and let it go to Mother Gaia. So let's get started. Now I'm going to take my spray, I'm going to spray Archangel Michael, my crystals, my angels, my sacred space. I also have Archangel Raphael that's looking at you, okay, and Archangel, or not Archangel, but Methadron, that's here as well. So now when I went into your energy, I have so many messages, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so you have your third eye and your heart chakra right now that are being activated, cleared, and healed at this moment. So your third eye and your heart chakra. Uh, there's a new beginning in taking place in those, uh, for those of you that are getting that healing and releasing, there will be new beginnings because there's a lot of mental conflict that you're going through right now. There's something that you are, um, this has been for a long time. And not only that, but what, what I'm seeing is, is that for some of you, you are suffering in silence. Okay, um, so maybe slight of depression, maybe feeling really bad, something disrupted around you, maybe, um, right before or in August or right right when we walked in, into the month of September. And uh, I see that uh, something that you're going to um, break free from. I see a sun in front of you. For those of you that have been suffering in silence and um, having kept everything inside of you, uh, you are moving towards the sun, okay, uh, it, where you're going to be okay. You're releasing, you're healing, you're doing everything that you need to do. Some of you have taken a step back, like you took a step back. So you took some kind of step back from um, 
uh, just emotional withdrawal from other people, uh, just situations. You're just taking time for yourself. It's almost like the hermit card is what they're showing me, is that you're taking time for yourself to go within yourself, to heal yourself, or to walk your path and to understand what's been going on. I feel that you are, Leo, you came into your power around your birthday time, um, where you are, you're very, you have a lot of wisdom and uh, the power, your self-confidence, and maybe even uh, feeling better for some of you. There is a spiritual union here for you. There is uh, two people coming in together, but this is the heart chakra with the heart chakra. Okay, uh, it's not with the mind, it's with the heart chakra. So there is a spiritual union. There's a lot of partnership and alliances that are coming in for you as well. Uh, offerings and new beginnings that are taking place in um, um, finances, uh, career for some of you, uh, friendship or a relationship that's taking place. Okay, there's a growth that's taking place. You're going to be moving away from a situation where uh, you got hurt or you... You went through a lesson, some type of lesson, okay? And you're going to be moving from a dark place, the dark night of the soul, and you're going to go into the light. But there is a process to go through that, okay? And this month, this week, especially this week, your intuition is right on target. Uh, whatever you're feeling, is your intuition is right, what they're telling me. It's like most like most It's almost like a universal or a collective intuition that you're getting. You're going to have the whole picture. Your third eye will show you the past, the present, and the moment as well. So there's something there, and the heart chakra is being released and released and released, okay? what? Uh, so you got two cards for um, what they want you to be aware of this week. Well, the first card you got is number four. You need to rest. You, some of you need to meditate. Um, if you're feeling tired, you just need to rest, take a break, Okay. Uh, maybe go in nature, be around trees. Um, you know, you can meditate anywhere you go. You don't have to meditate in a room on in on a chair or on the floor. You can go meditate anywhere you want. But it's also talks about for you to rest because you are going to get uh, rejuvenated. And you got also number 46, which is a 10 here. Um, thinking man or thinking woman, it doesn't matter. Okay. Something that you're over, you're you're really trying to see the crisp, crisp sorry, crystal clear picture of a situation and uh, some of you are using uh, these type of uh, crystals okay at this time okay or this one here okay like this clear crits okay you're really looking into a situation <clears throat> and some of you are over analyzing something <clears throat> number 446 is very strong here or 644 or 464 it depends, uh, okay, uh, but there is, uh, the angels are around you at this time, okay, and there is stability in some ways w with you. You're, you're going to learn a, uh, the truth of a situation because your intuition, uh, your dreams, you're going to get a ha-ha moment, is all there for you, okay? Now, I also took out an affirmation card for you, and it's guilt. And your affirmation is, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. And the next card you got is deep replenish replenishment. Deep replenishment. And I feel this is going to take place in the new moon in September. I haven't checked my schedule yet of, uh, uh, you know, when the new moon is. Uh, but uh, and when in what sign it is in, but there's this new moon that's coming in, and I feel that a lot of you are going to do some uh, water rituals as well. And this is a retreat, rest, and be held. Retreat, rest, and be held. Okay. So I also took out uh, three decks for you to choose from. Pick a deck. Okay. Um, so you ask your questions now, and at the end of the reading, we're going to take a look at them together. The first deck is Archangel Michael. Deck number one. Deck number two is Ask Angels. Deck number two, Ask Angels. Oops. And deck number three is Romance Angels. Deck number one, Romance Angels. Uh, deck number one, I, uh, sorry. Deck number one, Archangel Michael. Deck number two, Ask Angels. And deck number three, Romance Angels. Ask all the questions you need now. If you don't have anything to ask and you want to be revealed what's coming to you, then just be it as it is. Also, I also took out for you crystal cards that we're going to take a look at them together. And I would like you guys, if you would like to uh, buy these cards, because I'm going to use them in every video from now on, because they're very helpful and they're very, they have so much information. 
And so whenever I, I give you two crystals to work with in a week, I would like you to work with these crystals. And sometimes it's uh, expensive to buy crystals, or sometimes you can't find a certain crystal. So this book is called The Healing Oracle Crystal Reading Cards from Rachel Charman. And this is on Amazon, okay? These are the cards. I took two uh, crystal healing cards for you. Plus, I took out an animal spirit card for you and what your soul wants to tell you. And we're going to take a look at this at the end of the reading. Now, let's get started with your reading, okay? Um, this is for Leo, uh, Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But if you have Leo in Saturn, Jupiter, Chiron, or Mercury, this is your reading as well. Whenever you see this is the right time for you. And because I channel a lot of messages sometimes, it's good to come back a couple of times during the week because every time you come back to the video, there's going to be messages that you have not heard, okay? Because there's a lot of information. I will start with this deck here to do the Celtic Cross. And then I'm going to use another deck to clarify. What are the messages here? For Leo, September 19th to the 25th. For Leo. Okay, let's go. Let's start this reading. First card out is the Three of Coins. So this is the Three of Pentacles, uh, stability. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a stability in where you are, maybe at home or in a company. Or um, this talks about, for me, when I see this, as someone really working in details, um, working with others very well at this time as well. Some kind of stability is here for you. And what is crossing you is the Six of Swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here but this could also be you relocating or moving or moving away from a situation this could be a, from a workplace or from a home okay uh what is underneath the what is the matter of the situation is uh, you're dealing with a capricorn or you have capricorn in your chart very strong here something karmic is being released from you what i'm feeling very here and someone that's very very angry it doesn't have to be capricorn okay it could be anybody but someone that's very very angry um is in, uh, is in most of the negative, negative. I'm picking up negative thoughts and stuff, okay? So let's see what else is going on here for you. What's, okay. Because <laughs> these cards, oh, no. Thought they weren't going to come out, but nope, they didn't. Again, I got another one here. Okay. Hold on a second, there's a lot. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, what's crowning you is the Ace of Pentacles. Some sort of um, a proposition that was made to you, a, propos a proposition, a proposal, a raise, um, something to bring you to a higher level. This is a gift that's coming in. It's, a, since it's very sincere. You may, deal, may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn again here. This is a, a very sincere de deal that's coming in for you. Okay, uh, maybe um, for some of you, you're not in your element right now to accept this, this gift, but it is here for you. This is, like I said, a raise, uh, proposal, uh, some kind of partnership or alliance that's coming in together. The universe is gifting you this. What was in the past? Let's see what was in the past here. Three of Cups reversed. Some of you are probably dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Something, oh no, sorry, this is the Four of Cups reversed. Sorry, so sorry about that. The Four of Cups reversed. There's something that, uh, if it was upright, it would show me that uh, you are contemplating something, but some of you are not even looking at contemplating or something was taken away from you, okay? Uh, there's something that you're not seeing here. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else is happening in the near future.
Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. This is the queen of all the loves of love. <laughs> um, this is someone that has a uh, she or he wears their heart on their sleeve. This is the queen. Uh, very stable, very intuitive. They have great intuition. Um, they they do wear their heart on their sleeve. They're the mother. They're the mother of earth and the waters and the sky. Some of you are dealing with a cancer here or a Pisces. There's a message that's supposed to come in that is not coming in. Maybe you have to deliver a message to someone. But right now you're thinking about something. You're cry You're probably feeling bad, sad, or something like that. You're not feeling in your element right now. Some of you Leos. This is not all for all of you. There's some kind of confusion here. You're not seeing something straight. I feel that uh, maybe if you're dealing with it, like an air energy, Libra, Gemini, or um, Aquarius here. But what I feel is that you're, 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 oh, no, actually it's the queen. Sorry. It's the queen of swords. <laughs> so sorry. I thought it was the knight. Well, anyways, she's a queen. So this person, that could be you, uh, in energy, okay, is that you're, you cut off communication with someone. Uh, there's an offer that took place. There was a, a possibility for you to make extra here for some of you. Um, and, uh, Someone cut you off or you cut somebody off is what I'm picking up very strong here. No communication is taking place. No, no communication here. Uh, normally, uh, with, the, with the devil card reversed with the swords card, this is someone right now that is very powerfully angry is what I'm picking up, okay? Not in their element. They're uh, thinking all the worst possible things. I don't know who this message was for. Okay. Um, what is around you at this time? Justice reversed. So you're dealing with a Libra. There's something that's off balance here. Someone's not in their integrity. Someone is not, or things are not going in your favor. Or someone, or if this is not you, it's someone else. That's not. Things are not going into their favor. Something is off balance. The truth is not said here. Um, there's something that's off. Okay. Now, let's see what else is going on here. In the hopes and fears. Someone, maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. For some of you, I feel that you are very, um, you've been waiting for so something to come in towards you, but um, some of you are not accepting a deal, is what I'm saying. Now, let's see more. But uh, something about being impatient. Is this is also Jupiter that's uh, in Sagittarius right now. Something is not turning out in the way that you wanted when it came to your finances, because I do see something stable here for you. There is something stable, maybe in your home, maybe in where you work. But some of you, what's crossing you, okay, is you moving away from the situation or relocating or moving. And that's the issue here I have. Maybe you're dealing with someone that is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. But something is off balance. What is the outcome of the card? What's the outcome? What's the outcome here? Some of you are going to walk away from a situation. Okay, wherever the situation is, if this has to do with partnership, alliance, or this uh, sacred union uh, that's supposed to be here for you. Some of you, um, what I see is that uh, there's a couple of cups that are on the ground, right, uh, spilt. And you have one, two, three, four, uh, six. So um, what I'm picking up very strong here, this, this is someone from your past life for some of you. Uh, or you're what? Now, there's two options. Or you're going to walk away from this opportunity, this partnership, alliance that's coming towards you. Or some of you are going to walk away from uh, whatever you are in, whatever in, in the situation that you are in now. Or for some of you, you're going to walk away from a, uh, a union. Okay? Because you're overanalyzing some, some situation here. Okay? And some of you are depressed. You see? You got the Ten of Swords reversed. The Ten of Swords, not reversed, sorry. The Ten of Swords. Now, in this new deck, the Ten of Swords, okay, the, the swords are not touching you. You healed uh, the swords from touching you. 
you're tied, but you're not really tied to each other's hand. Like each, you're not tied, but each hand is, uh, you can free your hands. It's your thoughts. Your thoughts are very, very negative. Whoever this person is, I don't know if this is you or someone that you're dealing with, my beautiful Leos. Uh, this person has ugly thoughts, okay? Uh, very uh, pessimistic, uh, thinks the worst of a situation is what I'm picking up. But I do see a second chance, but it's 50-50 for some of you. Okay, 50-50 I see here. Um, with the cards, the way they're looking at, it's like 50. It could be a second chance, but again, I said 50-50. It could be either, it could go the other way or this way. Okay? But there is luck on your side, though. That's one thing. So now we're going to take out the other cards that I will use. Which ones am I going to use? Okay, I'm going to use these ones. Okay, I'm going to shuffle them. Here you go. Wow, this is a very intense reading. A lot of intense reading. What are the messages for Leo? I know some of you don't like that I shuffle in front of you, but I have to because I was going to use only these cards and then I decided to use... Uh, a second deck to clarify like I did with everybody else. It could also be that some of you were dealing with something karmic, you know, a releasing of someone or something or patterns or behaviors. This could also be that someone walked away from you as well, okay? You were building towards something and they, uh, you had no choice to leave for others of you. Something is really off balance here. And the Libra, and then this week, I think when entering the Libra season, you're going to feel a bit off, okay? So now, um, this is for Leo, September 19 to the 25th, 2019. We're going to clarify the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, okay? So let's do the Three of Pentacles here. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Leos? You're reevaluating everything right now. Maybe you're reevaluating your money, <clears throat> how far you come. Um, some of you are hard on yourselves as well. But I also see you're a seven and a three is a 10, which is a new beginning. I just saw 22, 22 right now. Uh, new beginnings that are taking place, being on the right path. You are reevaluating the situation. Maybe in the last seven years. Why is the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here? The wheel. You got the wheel. Second chances. Uh, this is Wheel of Fortune. It's also luck on your side. Jupiter coming in, right? Jupiter coming in to give you blessings as well. And for others of you, if this has to do with a partnership, okay, from the Three, you went to the Seven, which is great. Uh, for others of you, if this has to do with a love partnership, it could be 50-50 if they come back to you or not, if that's is what for some of you is. But you have the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? This is really beautiful. When, especially when I see them next to the Pentacles, especially you have the Three, and then you have the Seven, and then you have the Wheel. And patience is needed at this time, okay? So patience is, and plus you have the Ace of, this is what's crowning you right now. So why is the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune here? What is this all about? Please show me. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or some kind of secret or something that is came out to light. Something came out to light. Because I'm telling you, your intuition this week is going to be right on target. Not that your intuition is never on target, but it's going to be different this week, okay? Your intuition. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Some of you need to go within to find some information. Uh, some of you are, are uh, right now uh, taking time out and there's been a lot of fighting or drama around you, okay? They're showing me this. Now, they're, why they're showing me this? I guess they want me to find out what was going on. Uh, you're in an air, you could be around someone that there's a lot of drama and uh, a lot of fighting here. Maybe this could be at the workplace. 
some of you need to take time out and or some kind of secret came out something came out to light is what i see here okay so why is the wheel of fortune here what does the wheel have to do with the wheel an ending of a situation you got two tens on the ground already okay you got the ten of swords and the ten of wands you can carrying this on you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders for a long time and you need a break and it's coming for you okay it's an ending that's taking place in a new beginning taking place for you. There is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. I have fire energy. I have all the signs here, okay? Um, there's a friendship that's taking place. And it's a, it's, it's a really an honest friend, a friendship that's there for you. Maybe this friendship has to come with a partnership in your alliance. Or you are coming back to your... Uh, un you are coming back to yourself again. Meaning um, your inner child... Something about your inner child is coming back to the surface for some of you. Why is the Six of Swords here? Or this is a Page of Cups that is has to do with partnership and alliance. Someone coming in or an apology. Why is the Six of Swords here? Divine timing is here for you. So for what happened is that some of you, I feel like some of you got offered something and it's, you're not taking it. You're going backwards. I don't know. You're going backwards. For others of you, divine timing is here. You've been seeing the signs. Okay, you've been seeing it. You've been seeing the signs. Universe, you've been catching that. But some of you want to move forward, want to move away from a certain situation where you've been familiar at with. And you're having a hard time going into the unknown. Okay, and there's a sense of, yes, some, some sense of security here. Because you've got the four pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But uh, there's also a sense of uh, not opening your heart chakra. You're scared to open that heart chakra of yours for some. Now, this is not for all of you. Remember that. And what I have here is the Empress, Taurus, Libra, energy, abundant resources. If you would move away relocate if that's the case or travel or move away from a situation like spiritually like whatever it is that you need to move away from because divine timing is here for you and this is going to happen i think that some of you might make the decision uh around the new moon okay uh i see that uh if this is you my beautiful leos or you're dealing with someone that will give you plenty of opportunities here for finances i see it coming abundant resources doors opening uh, success is here for you, okay? Uh, but you have a mental conflict about the situation, okay? You're overanalyzing it too much. That's the problem for some of you. And others of you, this could be you, that you went through a rebirth and you're coming back in as the empress, okay? Some of you, this could also mean fertility. Uh, this could be ideas, fertility, ideas as well. Let's say if you can get pregnant, ideas as well. <clears throat> you're dealing with someone that's a mother motherly figure here is what i see why is the devil reversed oops card foul hold on <clears throat> devil reversed with the world reversed something is not complete there's something that is not complete here okay the world, when if it would be like this, it means like you learned your lessons, whatever it is, whatever the lessons were, completion. But there's not a completion yet. Why is there not a completion? Why is the devil card here with the world reversed? I want to see. Okay. You could be dealing with a high priestess or a high priest. Uh, or this is you, my beautiful Leos. Okay. Trusting into your intuition. There's something that you still do not know. I'm picking very strong, like not... It's like a secret, but it's like you still, there's some things that the universe or the high priestess energy cannot reveal to you right away because they want you to go within to find your answers. You need to go and search within. It can, it's not outside of you. It's inside of you. Okay. Uh, and maybe you were dealing with someone that was a high priest or a high priestess. Okay. A lot of like intuition inside uh, this could be also you again you'll know if the reading resonates now why is this um high priestess here the world reversed and the devil reversed what does this have to do with okay 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 
Now, hmm. whatever the situation is, I'm going to go deeper into the reading because I have to. There's something about the first, uh, the first two cards that are here that I have to go back to. Whoever this person was that would, was like the sun card, Leo could be, this is you, Leo, okay? You're not, you're not, okay, this was like uh, the sacred love. And it could have been very, it could be very, very, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, successful. Six of Wands talks about the moon and the sun. You're dealing with someone, I feel some Leos are dealing with someone that is a Cancer. I'm picking up very strong Cancer, okay? Uh, successful recognize recognition like reward like um sun is shining everything is beautiful unconditional love here but right now the cards are reversed why are they reversed i think that uh, karmically you're going through something right now some of you are dealing with a with a uh, maybe you have you have capricorn in your chart you're not seeing the situation as it is there's something that's not complete here and um you need to access the high priest or the high priestess okay why is the four of cups reversed here why is the four of uh four of cups reversed here you got the king of swords energy libra gemini or aquarius here you might have this in your moon so you're dealing with someone that is uh, very, um, you're dealing with someone here that is very unknowledgeable, uh, someone that finds many solutions usually, um, will speak his truth. He's very good with words, or he or she are very good with words, okay? Um, and they're, they're not confused, they're very clear, very, very clear. Now this could be you and that energy, or it's the person you're dealing with. What is this King of Swords about? What is this King of Swords about? What is this King of Swords about? They're going to be, they, or in the recent past, they came towards you. With a lot, they, they like to talk, okay? So they, they're big, they're like, uh, they could be public speakers, this type of energy. But they also have fire energy. Okay, this could be you, uh, you know, uh, a lot of talking, uh, a lot of solutions, uh, getting great ideas, coming in passionately, quickly. Okay, uh, maybe you're dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries here. That's a sign. That usually doesn't happen. <laughs> and I can't do nothing about it. Okay. Perfect. Now, why is this uh, King of Swords and Knight of Wands here? This could be two different people coming in for you. Or this is you and your energy. Some of you are not sleeping at, at night. Overthinking, overanalyzing about an offer, a, situ a situation that's keeping you up at night. Okay, why is um, the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Wow, you're getting the Tower card. That's what's crowning you right now. The divine is coming in to clear, clear anything karmic, clear thoughts, negative thoughts, bring you the truth in a situation. Your third eye is going to show you that. Uh, your heart chakra is going to make you feel it too, okay? Uh, but there's a situation that's going to come at hand that the divine is coming in to clear house. And this is a positive card. You're going to get, I feel it, it's going to remove anything that is shady around you or that's not for your highest good, Okay. Why is the tower here with the Ace of Pentacles? And there's money that's coming in here. There is money. There's blessings. Sometimes what happens is that um, someone made a judgment call. This could be you that made a judgment call. Because something is supposed to come to you faded. It could mean two things. Or you made a judgment call on a situation without having the real facts. Because you were impatient. Okay. For some of you. Now, this is not for all of you. And don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what they're telling me. Okay? 
So some of you, maybe this has to do because you're impatient. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Some kind of impatience here with the situation or with this person because I got the temperance card twice reversed, okay? I got it twice. I'm going to show you. Reversed. Okay? There you go. Reversed. So the tower, sometimes, um, if this is a twin flame reading for some of you, okay? And let's say one person is not talking to you, they don't want to know anything, and it's in divine time for you to come together. The universe will provide that, and the tower is going to come in to change something for someone that is a Leo here, okay? Or the person you're dealing with, okay? This is a person that you had a break from, okay? This is a person that there was stability, okay? There was stability because you got the three of pentacles reversed and the four of swords reversed. So whatever communication... Okay, because if it was upright, it would show me that you would still be in not communication. But something is coming about to change something. Something is happening to one of the Leos out here or to the other person because they have to see the truth of the situation because whoever they're dealing with, they are deal not dealing, especially uh, this Empress here and this Queen of Cups here, you're dealing with good people. You're dealing with good, genuine people here, okay? Whoever these two people are. And the offer is real, okay? You're going to have stability here. There's a lot of stability. And it's going to be an ending, an ending of you of carrying things on your shoulders. Like, if you know, especially if you had financial despair, okay? So why is the Queen of uh, Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? It's very interesting. I feel some, not all of you, but 1% of you, you're being very stubborn about a situation. You're not wanting to see the light, okay? And uh, you have to change the way you see things or change your way of, of, of perceiving something because um, yeah things happen and everything happens especially in the twin flame journey uh, there's a lot of hurt there is but the end results are amazing when you get together with your twin okay so what is the queen of cups all about here this is pure unconditional love this is like a mother figure see again the devil reversed okay you're dealing maybe with something that's karmic if not, you're dealing with a Capricorn that's very angry or someone that's very, very angry. Negative thoughts, chaotic, okay? Um, again, look. <laughs> you know, I'm not making this up here. Look. Two times the Queen of Cups here. Someone's not seeing the situation of... Someone is not seeing the situation of this Queen of Cups. Whoever the... Or Queen or King, whoever this person is. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, whatever. But I really believe she's a Cancer, though. For, I don't know, but this is what I'm picking up. She has Cancer in her chart, or he has Cancer in his chart. Okay. Whoever this person is, Leo, if this is you, you're crying over something. You're looking at the cups that went wrong. You're not looking at the cups that are up, up on top of you. It's about being appreciative, grateful about a situation. Okay, you're not seeing the silver lining or uh, you have to understand that everything happens for a reason and that's where the soul growth takes part. Okay, why is the devil reversed with the five of cups? One more card here. A lot of confusion. This has to do with a commitment, but it came out sideways, so I'm going to keep it sideways. It's a 50-50 chance. Why is the elephant sideways? Justice reversed again. Two times justice reversed. Okay. So, something is off balance here. Someone's not being in their integrity. Someone is off balance. Things, rulings are not made in their favor, in your favor, Leo, or someone else's favor. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Whatever the case is, uh, someone is not in their integrity here. No, someone is not speaking their truth. Some, so you're dealing with someone that is not speaking or confused or cut you out. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Maybe they're trying to take time for themselves. Why is the Queen of Swords reversed here? Well, do I see as a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or you going towards someone? 
to offer love or someone's coming towards you but i feel like you're not you're gonna cut this person out you're, or you're not talking to this person whatever i feel you you know this person some of you are resisting this this change this transition that's taking place maybe you're dealing with a scorpio but there's some kind of resistance here resistance not going with the, not going with the flow you're standing up for yourself all right is the death card here yeah. so you're dealing with a cancer so you're going to be going through some a lot of changes here this is someone that's you're very passionate about okay you have that passion you still have that passion for that person okay um uh, I feel that uh, this could be also creativity, inspiration that's coming towards you. A lot of beautiful, passionate messages. But there's something that you're resisting here. And uh, there's an energy of the Five of Swords energy. This is evading you, okay? It's not like as if that you... This happened recently. Uh, not very, very recently for some of you, okay? Um, you feel like you got backstabbed. But I do feel that you're going to take control of the situation. Eventually, you are going to take control. Because this Tower card is coming in. Whether you like it or not, the Tower card is coming in. It's a powerful card because it's a positive card. But the Tower card is coming in to bring you changes, okay? Because uh, And to trust your intuition because some of you are, uh, you, you weren't seeing things in the clear for a long time. And some of you are becoming aware, becoming aware of your gifts, enhancing your gifts are taking place here. Because there's something that's not over with someone or a company or a sibling or a love partner twin flame soulmate lover whatever you want to call it some of you are dealing with a cancer sagittarius here some of you are going to take control of the situation and move towards that person why is justice uh reversed here yeah what's going on here here you are king or queen of of uh of uh wands that's you, Leo, or Sagittarius, or Aries here. You're going to come back into your element. Right now, some of you are not, you're emotionally withdrawn, okay? You're hurt. But you're going to come back into your element. Uh, strong as ever, with confidence. With confidence and clarity and passion, okay? But right now, I think that you are going through a huge uh, transformation. Those of you that are resisting, the star card is going to come in. And something has to shift here for you. Okay. Why is the temperance uh, and the hope and fears reversed? Some of you are hoping to receive messages from someone. Okay. Uh, this is upright. This is good. You're hoping to receive messages. Some of you are, are uh, trying to message someone telepathically. I don't know what this is for. But like, uh, let's say if you can't talk to that person telepathically, you're trying to send messages through the sky, through the universe, okay? Um, yeah, because right now you're hoping for the Ten of Cups, a new beginning for love, okay? Uh, but you're not feeling it because it's still reversed here, okay? There's something that you're not getting, maybe the silver lining and what happened here. And why is the Eight of Cups here? This is the outcome. Why is the Eight of Cups here? I wish I could give you a better reading, but it is what it is. You know, I mean, um, I'm not going to sugarcoat something. I, I'm just a messenger here, okay? Um, some, now, you could be dealing with, a, with someone that has a drinking issue for some of you. You've been wanting, you've been wishing about something, but there's something that you're not saying. There's a secret here, okay? There's something that's still not revealed to you, okay? Uh, someone that is uh, trying to get away with something here, um, with this Eight of Cups going away, carrying some secret with them. I'm not sure. Uh, you're feeling stuck in a situation. You're feeling stuck, okay? You really are feeling stuck, but you're not stuck. It's it's your thoughts. It's yourself destroying yourself with these thoughts, okay? Because you, there is here a chance for you to make money because there is a proposition for you to make money. And uh, someone that, uh, someone even traveling, okay? But you're not getting it. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here to see why uh, the Six of Swords and the Three of Pentacles is here. And with this Wheel of Fortune and this Empress card, what is this all about? 
Well, look, I got the King of Cups. So I got the King of Cups and the the uh, the the Queen of Cups. Okay. So I have uh, the Swords energy. I have. Do I have the Sword energy? Wait a second. No. I have the Cups energy. That's a hundred percent. And I also have the sword in it. So I have the queen and king of, uh, of, of uh, the queen and the queen and king of air, and I got the queen and king of of uh, of water energy. Okay, this is a very close net. Uh, like if this is you, Leo, you're gonna come into your heart fully. Something about you opening your heart and going into this unconditional love. Okay, um, your inner child being healed. Angels are very close to you, seeing the truth in every situation. Okay, right now at this moment, some of you are not want you're not able to move away from your thoughts. Okay, you're really deep in your thoughts, or uh, some of you are not gonna be relocating at this moment. It shows me the tower card has to take place. Okay, so um, I want to know why the ten of swords energy is here. Some of you are going to have a hard time walking away. Okay, walking. See, because I have the Eight of Cups reversed and the Eight of Cups upright in the outcome. So this, this has to do with your thoughts. You're having a hard time getting away from these negative thoughts. And you're not seeing things in an optimistic way. Yeah. This has to do with your past. Some of you are dealing with a Aries here. Maybe you're dealing, and, and, and again, not because they're Aries, okay, but you're dealing with someone that is very angry, very narcissistic as well, much more of a manipulator. Some of you are stuck in a situation that you don't know how to get up, out of, and you did get, there is some kind of opportunity that's coming to, I feel that there's two people here for some of you. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and please let me know if this resonates with you, because there's a lot of messages here, okay? What I feel is that for some of you, you're dealing with someone that's narcissistic, they're never going to change. Narcissistic people think that they're always right. And narcissists, people that are narcissistic do not come and watch YouTube. Okay? <laughs> never. They're never going to come and watch YouTube. But whoever you're dealing with and you're feeling stuck about a situation, you want to walk away from the situation. Maybe you don't have the money to walk away. Maybe you don't have the money to, to relocate or move. Okay? Uh, and at the same time, you're going through, you're suffering in silence and you're going through this tower moment, okay, uh, I feel like you're unbreaking the chains of the past of many, many lifetimes. Not even, not only here, just unbreaking the chains that, that keep you bond. And you're also going through some kind of emotional withdrawal as, at the same time. I feel that like you're going to come above this, okay? You are going to raise a, yourself above this, okay? You are going to... Um, what's the word... I can't think straight right now. Um, you're going to raise yourself above this and you're going to move forward. Okay. Um, there's a lot of self-healing here that's taking place. Yeah. You're probably... Okay. Some of you are being blocked by someone or you're blocking someone. You're fed up. But there is an opportunity coming towards you for finances. And this person is a kindred soul, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever that's coming towards you is an opportunity. And when they come in, they come in with blessings and stability. And one last card. What is the whole... One last card. Yeah, Pentacles. Some of you are giving up on the situation. You're giving up. Giving up on love. Two of Cups reversed. False love. A misunderstanding. I believe that this was a misunderstanding, but some of you are giving up on someone here. You don't you just don't want to do it anymore. The more cards I take, the more I see. Look, the three of one uh, swords. Heartbroken. Some of you are heartbroken about this. The high priestess and the high priest, if you were dealing with someone that was like this, they are the universal law, okay? They know things, and there's some things that they cannot talk about. And um, I feel that something had to do with that. You were dealing with someone like this, but something is not completed. 
And a lot of you are still like, there you go. I have the queen of, 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 of swords. Someone that's not in their element. Maybe you're not feeling well at this time because of the heartbreak that you're going through. Yeah, a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. Not seeing things straight. Confusion. Not talking. Um, yeah, not talking. Unstable, I see here. Some of you are separated from your twin at this moment. Maybe this has to do with a twin flame reading. Yeah. So, I'm sorry that it's not the best reading ever, but I try to give you the best reading. I took two decks, and it is what it is, and those are my messages. Um, well, this is all. Thank God, this is only a week reading, and it's not for the whole month, right? So don't forget to like, share, and comment. Now I'm going to take out the oracle cards for you. Archangel Michael, Ask Angels, and Romance Angels. Archangel Michael, first card is, Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Your prayer is, Please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me. For my own benefit and for those around me focus upon divine uh, focus upon divine and perfect health and your prayer is god and archangel michael thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they they support my well-being and so it is and then you got eternal love and your prayer is, help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. And so it is. Next card, next deck is, ask angels you got, remain positive. Remain positive. Trust your higher self and the divine. And it's up to you. It really is up to you. And so it is. Then you got Romance Angels, card number three. Love yourself first. Your self-respect your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So now we're going to go look into um, your crystals. I'm just going to take a sip of coffee. Cheers. Okay. First card you got is Kunzeit. Con Kunzeit. Con Kun. I don't know how to. Okay, so it's Kunzeit. Kunzeit. Okay, whatever. It's self love. Okay, I can't say the word. Sorry. I speak five languages and sometimes I get confused with my vowels so and, and pronunciation. So the color of the chakra, is, this, uh, the crystal is various who, who's of pink and purple. And this uh, related chakra is to the heart, self-love. The crystal medicine is uh, that this, uh, this uh, crystal offers the blessing of unconditional love as its purest. It invites you to open your heart fully to allow the love of the universe to enter the inner chambers, awakening the love and divine essence of the heart. This potent medicine teaches a new way of of loving unconditionally. Place this card on your heart and breathe to the medicine deeply as you feel your heart expand and the divine love. Of self overflow into energy into every cell of your mind, body, and spirit. Crystal medicine meaning is number one, connect you to your this this crystal connects you to your own infinite source of love. Number two, allows the heart to expand and flow, giving and receiving. Number three, promotes healing from ab abandonment and rejection. Number four, opens and aligns the heart chakra to divine love. And number five, assists in dissolving deeply held pain and resentment. Okay, so um, message from the Crystal Diva. This card has come into your awareness today to invite you to enter into a deeper, more loving union with yourself. You have now entered a time in your life where you are tr you are ready to master that this state of being. You may be feeling a little disconnected or frustrated with yourself and others, 
The divas urge you to be kind to yourself and acknowledge how far you come. It's time to honor yourself for who you are right right here, right now, so you so you fall in love with yourself again, embracing all positive and negative aspects. Take a moment to forgive yourself for your perceived bad choices and the mistakes you have made, knowing they build character and strength. Place this card on your heart chakra and breathe in the power medicine of love. Feel the essence of love that you have within you and allow this to dissolve anything that holds you back from truly loving yourself. As you embark on this powerful journey of self-love, see your pure essence and the divine love that shines out of your heart. In your light and your darkness, feel the, the, the divas of karmic... Oh, sorry. Let me... In, in, your, in your light and your darkness, feel the divas of this um, uh, crystal support your deepening relationship of love and compassion for yourself. From this very sacred space, all is possible. This card can also indicate... You have been feeling disconnected and unloved by those around you. As you deepen in love for yourself, you will naturally de deepen and open your connection to everyone and everything around you. So this is a card for you this week that you may use. And the next card you got is Tanzanite. Tanzanite. And this is Clarity. Uh, this crystal color is the range of uh, opaque, purplish, and blue. And the... Uh, the related chakra is the third eye. So, uh, the crystal meaning in medicine is that is this exquisite crystal assists in cleansing and opening of the third eye chakra, expanding your awareness and creating a deep sense of clarity. The deep violet ooze of the Tanzanite penetrate deeply into your psyche, awakening int intuition and spiritual sight on a very deep level. Oops. Place this crystal on your third eye and breathe this potent medicine into your chakra. It's time to see clearly and feel a sense of clarity in your world. The crystal meanings are number one, opens you to your spiritual wisdom and, sh and sharing this knowledge from the heart. Number two, opens and activates the third eye chakra, enhancing clarity, vision, and imagination. Number three, Assists in communicating with higher aspects of self, creating a deep knowing and wisdom. And number four, allows you to see with clarity. And message from the Crystal Diva is, you have called this powerful card into your existence today to share with you the essence of clarity is now upon you. When you attain clarity, you get to see things exactly how they are with no confusion or delusion. Clarity can bring many blessings, many blessings, allowing you to see deeply into a situations and experiences and receive direction, wisdom, wisdom and knowledge. If you have been feeling a sense of confusion and have not, not been able to see through the fog of the mind, know that this, that this time is, is coming in to an end and clarity is here. Tanzanite is shining its medicine into your third eye. Open and receive the powerful energy. Feel it opening your chakra and bathing you with its essence of clarity. It's time to see clearly into, into situations that have been clouding your judgment as you connect deeply with your own intuition and guidance. The time of confusion is over and the divas are shining the, the violet light of Tanzanite your way, illuminating your path so you can see clearly again. Ask that the light transmutes all your confusion and mind clutter. Feel it moving out of your aura, leaving you feeling radiant, cleansed, and clear, and enjoy the clarity that is now manifesting in your life. So these are the crystals that you will be needing for this week. Okay? Next is, what's your animal spirit? So your animal spirit for this week is the phoenix. Some of you, uh, okay, so this is you. Freedom from suffering and past karma freedom from suffering from past karma and reincarnation the phoenix represents the transformation of our past it doesn't mean running from it denying it or burning bridges with rage the phoenix um, employs an advanced technique described in yoga as the burning of impurities through practice and medita dedication tapas the essence of the uh, the phoenix is with us when we really when we realize we have been suffering too long and something must change we take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the unconscious mind and it's 
uh, long lost of fears and aversions. At that very moment, the spark of the phoenix is lit and the great bird helps us burn through our baggage. We no longer run from who we are, what has happened to us or what we have done. The stuckness and dead weight fall into the ashes and a lightness and clarity merge. As the stagnancy continues to smolder, the phoenix lifts our spirits up and up and we begin to recognize ourselves. Again, we may catch a glimmer, glimmer in our eye that wasn't there before. Look closely. It's a sign the fire of trans transformation is upon your wings. The phoenix and the first chakra. The ancient yogis, oh, yogis believe that our heaviest karmas reside in the first, first chakra. This earthen center is called muladhara or our root. The at Ascent of the phoenix begins here, and as the entanglement of karmas is slowly burned, it rises from the ash toward the navel center again and again and makes the journey from the first to the third chakra, purifying our essence, freeing us from the past. That's amazing. And what is your card? What does your soul want to tell you? You got number 31, Divine Feminine. So look beyond the, the obvious and the superficial into your, into the heart. And I just saw 10101. One, zero, one. This is powerful. Look beyond the obvious and the superficial into the heart of, of matter. Peer deeper into the hidden and explore the mysterious. Remember, your vast potential and the unlimited possibilities are available to you. It is time to trust your intuition, your inner voice, and your instincts. This may also be a time for stillness, for there are unseen forces at work orchestrating the whole universe to bring intense and beautiful experiences to your life. Allow yourself to re receive all that you want. You are the mother of all you create. You are the mother of all you create. You create. Nurture yourself and all that flows within and around you. There may be an impending marriage or birth around you, either physically or symbolically. The Divine Feminine wants you to know there is always enough to go around, abundance in everywhere. Embrace joy. Your actions are, number one, say to yourself often, I am willing to be open to my loving fullness. I am willing to create change. Again, I am willing to be open to my loving fullness. I am willing to create change. Number two, at moonrise, give thanks to the moon for shining a light upon your dreams of creation. And three, find out your moon sign and tune in to the lunar cycle. Use the new moon to create new ideas and the full moon to shine light upon and celebrate your creations. Draw or write about three ways the women in your life inspire a connection to your inner goddess. So draw or write about three ways the women in your life inspire a connection to your inner goddess. So my beautiful Leos, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back. Know that I love you and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.